All right, I'm back with another video. This video, I'm going to be going over a game played between Arjun Ergaisi and Loïc Travadon. Uh, this was played in the French Top 16 Club Championship in 2024. This was played in June uh, this month. Uh, so Ergaisi is 2761 as of June 2024, and uh, Travadon is 2445. Uh, so we've got a very interesting game here. Uh, it's, a, it's a quick one with a cool sacrifice at the end. So let's just jump right in. I don't think Ergaisi needs too much of an introduction if you don't know who he is. Uh, by now, then uh, you should. Uh, so c4, b6, d4, bishop b7, knight c3, e6. So we have some sort of English defense here uh, where black is not committing his knight to f6 just yet. White plays a3, trying to stop the bishop from coming to b4 and pinning the knight. Black goes knight f6, and white chooses to play pawn to d5. Uh, so blocking this bishop's scope and gaining space in the center. Bishop to c5 is played. Knight to f3, castle, bishop to g5, pinning this knight, and black goes back. Uh, so black uh, is wasting some time in the opening here, but I guess black did not like uh, having the bishop on c5. It's exposed to pawn to b4, and also after bishop to g5 is played, uh, black really didn't like this pin that was put on the knight, so the pin is broken. Really makes me question why black played bishop c5 in the first place, but uh, oh well. Uh, h4 was played, uh, looking to gain some space over on the king side, but also maybe use this as a hook for the knight on g5 after bishop takes f6 is played. d6 is played. Pawn to e3, just looking to bring the bishop out. Pawn to c6 is an interesting move, uh, just looking to try and force white do, to do something with the central pawn on d5. Uh, so either trade on c6 or trade on uh, e6, uh, or maybe play something like e4. Uh, white chooses to take on e6, f takes e6, and bishop to d3, just putting the bishop on an active square here. Uh, black plays c5 here, just opening uh, the bishop's scope up, and then white chooses to play bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, and then uh, knight to g5. Uh, so immediately targeting this pawn uh, and looking to potentially bring the queen into uh, the game. Uh, and unfortunately, black makes a serious mistake here and plays bishop takes g5. Uh, and unfortunately, this move uh, loses. Uh, black's position was already worse, but now it's completely losing after bishop takes h7. Uh, which the game review gives a nice brilliant move and black simply resigned here because if king takes h7 is played uh, there's h takes g5 with check uh, the king can either go to g6 or g8 if it goes to g6 this is going to lead to mate after queen to h5 check king f5 uh, and the king is just going to get smoked here uh, something like g4 the king has to go to e5 and then uh, check on h2 uh, the rook has to block and then queen takes f4 it's checkmate also if the king goes back to g8, uh, then uh, something like queen to h5, and then uh, black queen has to give itself up for this pawn on g5. Otherwise, uh, let's say black makes an absolute nothing move, then pawn to g6, and the mate is coming very, very shortly. Uh, black cannot really try and run here. It doesn't work because then you've mate on h8. Uh, if you try and play something like rook f5, uh, then you can simply just play queen takes h8 or queen to h8 check and at the very least you have queen takes d8 uh, so after bishop takes h7 which is a nice tactical shot uh, Trevenant simply resigned also worth noting is after uh, king to f7 if that is tried uh, then queen to h5 check uh, and the king can run uh, but this is still just going to be a miserable position to try and defend against a 2761 grandmaster the king can run a bunch but uh, something like queen takes g7 uh, is sufficient. Also, the engine really likes queen to g3, uh, but uh, white is just going to be a lot better here. Uh, so the resignation makes a lot of sense. Uh, so that's going to be all for this video, and hopefully you found it instructive, and uh, I will see you guys next time.